over and over again. He scores. Saka scores! Goal after goal for the Gunners from Bukayo Saka. All since that fateful day in the Euro 2020 final, when he and two others failed to find the back of the net in the penalty shootout and hopes of glory against Italy slipped away. What followed was a torrent of racist abuse. But since then, this young man, still only 22, has proved exactly what he's made of. So I'm the scout and the kit washer, and Lee's the trainer. And Saka's just like my inspiration. At his old primary school in West London, they're not surprised Saka was the one to score the equaliser against Switzerland in Saturday's quarter-final, before banishing any remaining demons with a brilliant penalty, earning him player of the match. It wasn't obnoxious, wasn't, you know, wasn't loud, and just, but you could see you know, very quietly determined. So if, it, if when we played football and we needed to get a grip of the game, he would do it, he could do it. You know, he's like, give me the ball, um, but very humble with it. Always proud of him. He deserves everything that he's achieving. Saka was a straight-A student, an all-rounder who still holds the long jump record at his secondary school and has a strength of character he's needed. Saying I remember my first incident of being racially abused, 11 years of age, I'll never forget it. Ex-player and anti-discrimination campaigner Troy Townsend understands what it's taken for the footballer to carry on. Saka's only missed one penalty since in the three years, and that was against West Ham. And if I show you that there was a, tell you that there was a depiction of a, of a monkey with his face superimposed on it because of that penalty miss, shows you that this stuff is, is never going to go away. So for me, his mental capacity to, to almost push that aside and show people that actually I'm one of the best footballers that there is around has been off the scale. Back at Bakayo's primary, a mural was painted in his honour following the brutal backlash of three years ago. After scoring on Saturday, he spoke of how he kept his cool, how he believed in himself. And as England take on the Netherlands in the semis, the nation will be hoping the young star can harness that belief once more. Emma Birchley, Sky News.